get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and drive two and a half hours to hear that. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, this is my second year back, and I want to welcome all of you guys to what I like to call Tomorrow's Consumers Today. And what that is going to be going through is going to be going over your project first and foremost. And I'll tie all this in at the end because it doesn't have nothing to do with water project as you read it. But as we go over your guys' presentations, as we go into product lines, as we go into conservation, you guys will understand as consumers tomorrow how all this work that you guys have done up to this point will affect your life. First and foremost, everybody give themselves a round of applause for doing project. Also, I want to thank Ms. Benton and all of you guys for inviting me back again. This, is, this has been an honor for me to do this. Um, this is important. My name is Brian Grace. I own my own business, Host Communications. So today I will be your host into this water conservation project. Now, you guys had it the water project, but it's actually going to be project water conservation. And that's what it's going to be about with giving back to the community, with sustainability, which is going to be one of our keywords that everybody should be writing down. Because if you guys did this project, you guys all should have learned one thing about sustainability. Now, the benefits to water conservation are a few things. A, we get a healthy planet, we get a healthy lifestyle, as well as sustainable living. We go back to that word sustainability. Now, as you guys noticed over there, there's going to be some product lines. I brought two great companies on board with me today. I brought Camelback Products out of Petaluma, California, as well as Ocean Minded Footwear out of San Clemente, which is down south. Now, you guys will learn about those products and how they pertain to you, and then it's going to go back into the consumer aspect of this. I'll give you guys a little brief background. I'm from San Jose, from the south side. Me and Ms. Ben have uh, been good friends ever since we were got about your guys' age, and um, my life led me, leading up to this point, has been anything but easy, okay? Always, always had to work hard, always had to educate myself, always had to keep myself on the right path to be able to be in front of you guys today to talk. Now, I'm not going to take up too much of the time here this morning because I really am excited about hearing you guys' projects. What, I want, what I'm expecting from you guys is to have your enthusiasm, have your energy, believe in what you guys have studied because you guys have been working on this project for a couple of weeks and I'm expecting to see something great. Now, the class last year did a stellar job. Those guys did great. And as a matter of fact, the young lady was a part of the class. And uh, what, do you, what do you think about this year? Do you think it's going to be compete or is it going to be the same? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Okay, we'll find out. We'll find out soon enough. Um, by the time you guys leave here, you guys want to learn about uh, products, about yourselves, about water conservation, and how it's going to help you guys in the future. Now, uh, first up, how, let me ask this. Who felt like their project is good enough? Raise your hand. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You, you're, you're, you're halfway there? You're like, okay, but you said it, it's good enough, right? Remember, this is going to be my first lesson I give to you guys because everything I give you guys is going to be un uncut. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to mislead you. How many people know what the saying, keeping it real, is all about? Anybody? Nobody knows what keeping it real is? Really? Really? Nobody's ever heard of keeping it real? Keeping it real? Keeping it real, yeah, keep it real. Like, don't lie to me. Like, be, be forthcoming. Be honest. Be open. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to the good enough. This is one of my favorite quotes that I've seen on the side of a construction site, and it's stuck with me ever since, and I want you guys to have to speak with you, so that way it'll help you in your endeavors. Hmm. That's what good enough is. 
Good enough is the enemy of great. Everything you guys have done up to this point, you guys had no prior knowledge of water conservation, correct? Anybody? Anybody can tell me anything before this class that you guys know about water recycling, um, how it works, or anything like that? Anybody? Oh, you guys' energy is, oh my gosh. Okay. Let's get into the presentations. That's what we're going to do. First up, Ms. Benton, who is going to be Now, let me ask you something. Can I pick them up randomly?